Hello there! Welcome to Shay's house. I'm so glad y'all come to see me. Come on inside. Let's see what I'm up to today. Come on in. Hello, friends. This is Wednesday. And it's late in the evening after four. Elizabeth just left a little bit ago to go to work. Uh, we have church tonight. It starts at 7. We have to leave at 6.30 to get there in time. So I get dressed about 6. Um, Albert Benny's outside working on the swings and gliders. I woke up, believe it or not, before 9 o'clock this morning. And I have not laid down and took a nap as of yet. Um, my arm still hurts, but I'm still using it. So, I've ate my breakfast and took my medicine and, um, I prayed and checked my morning email and watched those videos. And, uh, I have emptied the trash in my room, made my bed, and, um, I put my clothes on to wash, and I folded some more of my clothes and put them up. I've got that load now in the dryer, and I just put a second load on to wash. I have fixed and ate my lunch and checked my noon email watching all those videos. And now I am doing a kind of a small craft, but it is for a certain thing that I will tell y'all more about later in my craft room. Thank you very much. <laughs> and so, now that's where I'm at right here. Right now. Today's hobby was crafting, so I, that's what I'm doing is crafting. Um, so, Wednesdays I don't have a hobby and a craft. The hobby is crafting, but I craft, try to craft every day, you know, along with the hobby. But I still need to do the tape palling hobby today if I can, so I need to start listening to my next tape. I don't know if I'll have time to in a little bit uh, before we'll have to get ready to go to work. I mean, not work, but church. Jeez. <laughs> um, seemed like there was something I was going to tell y'all now that I can't remember. Um, unless it was about the me keeping up with the money situation. Me and Albert had a little tit tat about it this morning. Thought it was gonna blow up, but it didn't. Just a little tit tat. And we kept it under control. The deal is, he's never really, see he's kept everything in his mind. He's never like, when he writes a check, he don't write it down in the book, you know, and take it away. And then I wrote this much and took it away and added up and blah, blah, blah. He's never done that, okay? He's always, done it up here and kept it up here and he just rounds it off. He don't worry about the little sense part. But in doing that, that makes you either have a little more than what you really have or not really have as much as you have. He just rounds it off and that irks me about him. And he don't keep the receipts. He just kind of, because he does it and he goes and he just throws it in the truck and he, they get lost and scattered and dirty. And I'm trying to, which every time he comes back in, I ask him, all the receipts, where they are. That's what I've been trying to do so that I can set it down. But me and him this morning had to walk out to the truck and search and search and search, and then it wasn't in there. Finally, he thought, my pants pocket. So we come back inside, and he searches his pants pocket. It was a different pair than what he had on. There it was in his pocket. But that's the deal. He does not want to keep up with the tickets so that I can do this. And it's going to cause a big clash. I hope I can do it. Y'all keep praying for me about it. I asked him, would it help if I made him some type of a folder or a little bag type thing that he could keep in his truck and any time he spends money, gets back in the truck, stick that ticket in that bag and just keep it there on his seat or on the dashboard or whatever. And when he gets home, they're all right there in that bag, bring it in to me and I can take care of him and then he can put it back in his truck. He said that, you know, he agreed he would try. But now I gotta figure out what to make him. In a way, I wished he had one of those bank zipper bags, you know? Just 
unzip it and put the ticket in there. That would be, I don't really, y'all give me some ideals on what and how I can make and fix for him for that, to keep his, hold his tickets in in the truck till he can get back home to me with them. All right, guys, I'm going to go right here and we'll check on our little birdie outside in a little bit. Um, Elizabeth said the bird wasn't there. The eggs are in the, the nest, but the mama bird had like flew off. Well, I guess she has to leave her once in a while, you know, but we'll check on her here in a minute. So toodaloo until then. Okay, guys, we're outside and we're gonna check on the nest and the mommy bird and the eggs. So let's see. I think she's in there. So if I can zoom in. Yeah, there her is. Her sitting in there on her eggs. It's okay, mommy bird. We're checking on you. Make sure you're all right and you're taking care of the baby eggs. Okay. All right. Very good. I'm glad. Although it would have been cute to have seen the little eggs in the in the nest. Her not in there on them, but it would have made me worry that she might not come back to them too. All right, guys, toodaloo until I meet y'all in my craft room. Okay, guys, we are here in my craft room. Don't mind my shirt. It's an old tour shirt. That's the collar that's supposed to go down there, but it's a, a comfy shirt I like to wear. Okay, the craft that I am making involves, I'm going to show y'all what I'm using. using this. Now this is a card. Okay, a blank card inside and it looks like a purse on the outside and the back of it looks like that. I'm also using these cards because I'm using a card already made to make another type of card. Okay, so what I'm doing, I like this heart of flowers and it says thank you under here. And I like that. So I am cutting just that out, the thank you and the heart. And I am gluing it. Okay, this is the card like this, and when you open it, I'm gluing it up here on this part, and then I will write here. But then what else I'm doing, I am using the back, because see, when you open this card, it's orange inside, and it's blue on the front and blue on the back. So I'm using the blue back, because if you will notice, there is some light blue stripes in the purse. But I am laying the purse on here and tracing it with my pen and then cutting it out. The back of the purse, okay? The shape of just the back of it, not the handle. And what I am doing with that is I put sticky tape on the sides and on the back, I mean the bottom. And then I glue it. <laughs> Here's the back of my purse. I glue that. You know, remember it's cut out in the shape to fit the purse. I glue it to the back of the purse. And it only had tape on the sides and on the bottom. So that makes it a pocket down in behind here. So you see the front of the purse and there's gonna be a pocket behind it to stick something in. That is what I am doing. I've got two done. So here you go. And when you open it up, there's that. And my cutting is not very straight. But anyway, I haven't wrote in it yet. And when you turn it around, there's the back of it. 
not that one because that does open up just a little bit I don't know why they didn't glue that's the original card I don't know why if I can get right here where y'all can see why they didn't glue that down but this is my pocket right here and it's kind of tight you know but it's a little enough that I can stick some little something down in there so that's my craft that I'm working on and doing and that's what I'm making and I'm making four of them and the reason I am making four of them is because yesterday <laughs> and I know I probably shouldn't have showed it to y'all but I don't care I don't guess it hurts that I showed y'all in my vlog yesterday do y'all remember <laughs> the keys <laughs> that I showed y'all and I asked y'all what they were see if y'all could guess four people answered three of them people was actually a comment under the video one of them people was my mom hi mommy I send her my videos in an email every night and she gets it the next day and watches it so she writes me an email back and that's where she answers me at so she had also answered the question okay four people answered none of the four people got it exactly right but all four people got it close enough right that they knew what they were, you know. So, I'm making all of these people a little card and I'm going to stick you a little something in the back of the pocket. It's not a whole lot. But, you know, I told you I would send y'all a something and that's what I wanted to do. So, that's what I'm doing. The four people were Patterson Stan. That's Veronica. Lena Neal. And that's her YouTube channel on YouTube. And by the way, Mom, she's got your middle name. No, she's got your first name. Sorry. Mom's name is Lena Lois. Don't kill me, Mama. <laughs> she don't like her first name. Um, but, uh, and then the other one was, hmm, I should have looked it up. It's a Phyllis somebody. I don't remember the last name. <coughs> Give me just a minute. Let me pull it up here on my my laptop and look at it. It's gonna take a while because my laptop is slow. Give me just a minute. Let me look up because I want to tell you her last name. I want everybody to know, and I want her to be sure and know. You know that I'm including her, and she kind of got it right. I'm gonna tell y'all what everybody said in a minute, so it would help to have it up anyway, so I could actually read the comments to, to y'all. That everybody but um, all right where's it at come on hurry up stop taking forever my stupid slow laptop rawr, rawr, rawr. all right clicked on the video now we gotta pause the video yeah that now we gotta scroll down to the comments. Alright. Passons fan said, I think they are sardine can openers that are on the tin. Veronica. So, she was right about it being something that opens a top type of canned food. But Veronica, it's not sardines. And I love sardines, and I have ate sardines all my life. And I have never seen a sardine can with a key that opens it. It has the pull tab. But you were close enough. Okay. The other one is Phyllis G. That is her YouTube channel name. Phyllis says, They used to be on spam cans. You used these to wind around the can to open it. Hugs, Phyllis. 
So again, she knew it was a key that opened a can of food. But it wasn't spam, Phyllis. <laughs> I'm sorry. I've had spam also and treat. I love the treat meat. In fact, I got some of that in there now. But I like it better than spam. But the spam nor the treat meat don't have the keys. They have the pull tap. You just pull it up. <laughs> but you were close enough. So you are getting a card from me with a little something in the back pocket I'm making. Um, Lena Neal said, sardine can openers. <laughs> Sorry again, Lena. It wasn't sardine can. <laughs> um, so now let me go. I'm going to go to my email over here. And I'm going to read y'all what my mama said. She says, your little keys were used for opening cans of certain foods. I have used them a lot in the past. Laugh online. So she also remembered and knew that they were to open cans of food. She just couldn't remember, I guess, which kind. Now, do y'all really want to know what food these keys opened for me and my daughter Elizabeth? We both love this food so much that and she likes to fix hers, Elizabeth does. She cooks it in a pan on a stove with onions in it. I don't like it like that. <laughs> I like mine plain without the onions. So I just open mine and put them in a bowl and, uh, you know, fix me a sandwich or eat it like that with crackers or whatever. It is corned beef. <laughs> it was cans of corned beef. So when we get corned beef, we always get one for me and one for Elizabeth. Because <laughs> she eats a whole can, I eat a whole can. Uh, but we fix them differently. She don't like to fix hers in a microwave. But I can do the microwave thing. <laughs> it's easier and simple and shorter. You don't have to go through all the cooking and stuff, you know. <laughs> so, that's what they were for. For the, can the uh, corned beef cans. Now, my next question is I want y'all to give me some ideals. You know, it just, when I was opening them, she had done opened hers and threw her can away, but it was still right there on the top of the trash when I was opening mine, and it just dawned on me, and I thought, because, you know, it's little key things, metal, and we use stuff like that in our crafting, that I might could use it in my crafting. So, after I opened it, I took mine off. Then I went and got her can out of the trash and took hers off, <laughs> and I washed them up. But, other than just crafting with them, like we do our other metal keys and such, to just glue them on whatever. Y'all give me some ideas in the comments below about how I can use these, what I can turn them into and make them, or whatever. Okay? So give me some ideas. Okay? Okay, 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 okay. Thank y'all very much. And that was fun. Thank y'all for answering me. And that's why I'm sending y'all this little card to thank y'all. And I'm making it. I like it that it's cute like a little purse. And I'm making it to have a pocket in the back. Because I'm going to slip y'all some little small somethings. You know that'll fit in there. As a little prize for doing it with me. It was fun. I like to try to do more things like this. I like doing this. Alright guys. That is all for now. I need to get back to this. And um, I'll have, it is 425 in a little bit at 6 o'clock. I'm going to have to get ready for church. I'm going to leave at 630, get there by 7. And all of that. But this will probably be the end of my vlog for today. So, I will go ahead and say, until tomorrow, I'm done, I'm gone. Toodle-doo. Okay, <laughs> I forgot to say something. Um... Veronica Pattison's fan, Pattison's fan, however you say that. Phyllis G and Lena Neal. I need y'all's addresses. I think I have Veronica's, but I don't have Lena Neal and I don't have Phyllis G's addresses so that I can send these cards to y'all. And I have my mama's address. And mama, don't worry, I am going to try to get your Mother's Day card sent back off to you too. I'm so sorry about that. I don't know why they sent it back to me. But anyway, um, I looked at it. It's the, it's the new address. So I don't know. Like I said, I don't know why they sent it back to me. Alright. Um, 
Um, but anyway, yeah. Uh, Phyllis G and Lena Neal, if y'all will please give me your addresses so I can um, send y'all these. I would appreciate it. You can either um, send it to me through YouTube message, which sometimes don't get to us. It's aggravating. Because I know you don't want to just put it in the comments. Or email it to me. And I don't mind people knowing my email. My email is shayan8 at gmail.com. That is S-H-A-Y-A-N-N, -N, the number 8, at G M A I L dot C O M. Got it? Shayan8 at gmail.com. All right, now I will say again, <laughs> I'm done. I'm gone to the loo. My thing fell off the book.